to the Mr. South Africa 2013 reality show The Journey. I'm your host, George Morales, and I'm here to show you what it will take for these top 12 contestants to become your next Mr. South Africa ambassador. Well, I was thinking one day ago we were sitting in, in Joburg. In, uh, yeah, literally up between there build concrete jungle buildings, cars everywhere. Now we're in Cape Town, probably the most beautiful place in uh, South Africa. A day later, a long bus drive later, but we're here. So this is such a blessing, eh? I was wondering if it was somebody famous, but we're famous ourselves. So. Of course you are. <laughs> So not famous yet. For the next, uh, for the next few days and few months, uh, it's going to be hard not, uh, well, seeing these other guys as competitors and not becoming really good mates for them. I mean, we've been chatting over uh, uh, cell phones since uh, since we first met each other, whatever, in the competition. Already, there's a uh, you know quite a bond and, and friendship growing. So. Uh, I think it's positive though for the comp. This makes a 17 hour bus trip worth it. Uh, you, don't, you don't get this in Johannesburg, so this is, this is such a treat for us. It's really beautiful. We're not going to do obstruction. Yeah. It's not going to happen, okay? We're not sleazy Chippendale's yeah. buzz. <laughs> what will happen is you guys will probably have to do a bit of a walk. And to tease the ladies, take your top off when you stop at the bottom and go back. Something like that. I don't. If you don't want to take your top off, smile, give a kiss. I don't. I, but okay. we probably you know, remember it's all for the image and all for the exposure and all for the fun. It's ladies' day. They want us to do something. Okay. We've got a couple of events uh, right now. We're actually heading to where are we going now? The city of Cape Town. That one. We're going there. <laughs> big event going on there. Uh, Ten thousand women. Ten thousand women. Yeah. Twelve men. <laughs> I think the answer is good. <laughs> We were on stage and they started talking talking to us, introduced them. Luckily when they announced that I was from Cape Town, I had a very positive response which comforted me a bit more. Yeah. 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 Um, I think Amber was caught a little bit off guard. Um, yeah, yeah, I kind of saw it coming. Uh, having been in that situation a few times before, that, I saw it coming that she's gonna push the mic in someone's hand, but I don't think I'm pro, <laughs> saw it coming. Competition like this, where you're exposed to women, you're exposed to prying eyes, people want to know everything about who you are, because normally men don't care about things like that, or am I wrong? How men they? Okay, when the, MC, when the MC asked me the question, I was actually taken aback because I didn't expect the question. <laughs> but uh, I, did, uh, I just thought about it a little bit and, uh, and I had to just uh, answer the question. This is Dale. Dale speaking. Oh, Dale is next to you. So you are? I'm uh, Amro Gabriel. Hey, he's Amro. Okay, Amro, do you think men of the aim participating in a competition of this nature? So much shame. Uh, Amro actually got really nervous. But I think he handled himself well. I think he recovered really well. In a competition of this nature, I don't think it means necessarily that men are playing, but. Um I was I was a bit shocked in the beginning because I didn't I didn't expect that she was gonna give me the mark, but uh, it was all good. Uh, I think this is more of a, of a challenge, and uh, I think it's um, it's more uh, okay. It's, it, it, it's more, uh, uh, no, not necessarily. Eh? I think this is just one question. I mean, this, the contest is still, it's still ongoing, so there's still a lot of more opportunities where I'm going to prove myself because I do have um, great uh, public speaking skills and uh, I will prove that further on in the competition as well. So we get on stage and we get introduced, have a little bit of banter with the MC, and then they ask us to give something back. Uh, <laughs> and I'm too sexy starts playing. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy it hurts. I'm too sexy for Milan. Too sexy for Milan. New York and Japan.
see it to the Cape Town Convention Centre. We've got the Missing SA finalists up on stage. As you can see, the women are going crazy. It was amazing. As uh, having a 600 girls look at you when you're undressing, it's not always easy, but, <laughs> but it was fun. No, it was great it's for a great cause, and I think all the guys enjoyed a lot. So, no, no, it was great fun. Next time, you guys go on stage. <laughs> He's awesome. Oh, he is awesome. Yeah, he's he's awesome. awesome. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? <laughs> oh, is that one? That's one. Yeah. Dark one bending that one. Man, that was entertaining. Eh? It's incredible. I don't know how many. Five, I don't know how many women there. Eh? It's, it's just uh, something. Something else. Eh? Which one's your favorite? Um, all of them. <laughs> all of that them. one, darling. I think he's gorgeous. That one. <laughs> we went on stage. Um, they did have mentioned that we were gonna take our tops off, and I was like, "Nah, I'm not gonna do this because you know, I was a bit nervous. The guys are like super fit, and clearly I'm not as uh, bold as them." Good afternoon. My name is Tracy Lang. I'm at the CTICC. I'm actually covering one of the fashion shows for a TV program that I present, and I managed to bump into these gorgeous Missa Esther finalists. I'm quite excited. I don't know who the winner will be. I have a few favourites. Two of them standing very, very close to me, and I think I want them to come closer. Can I ask them to join me? Come yes. on, next to me, please. As you can see, they look amazing. They make me look okay. No, standing next to something. Almost, <laughs> almost as good as you. Almost. almost. Oh, keep it going. But I wish them all, all of the best, and hopefully, I'll see them at the event. I was about to tweet. Remember, a monkey can't win this competition. I was, I was like, ask oh, Jamie. I was like so into it. I was looking. I was thinking, guys, what the? F come on. And I was about to reply, just like a random tweet. A monkey will not win Mr. SA. Our top 12 contestants will be facing different challenges that we are calling road trips. The first one was in Cape Town and Tamir, our head judge, had something really interesting to say about some of these guys. <laughs> What's up, this is your boy Bohang and as you can see we are here in the beautiful mother city of Cape Town. It's a beautiful day today. We just actually got here from Johannesburg, a long road trip about 17 hours. I'm exhausted, I just want to shower and sleep. But it's a beautiful day like I said, we're about to get briefed. We don't have anything planned for today purely because I didn't know what time you guys were going to get here. Um, if you got here this afternoon, I would have said go to sleep. If you got here tonight, we could say do anything else. <laughs> we have a function at 10.30 tonight at Tiger Tiger. Um, it's in Claremont. It's about a 10-15 minute drive from here. Sorry, man. <laughs> Sorry, man. I can't speak now. I'm just busy presenting to the guys quickly. The first time for everything to iron. So you'll see that uh, um, I must try my best. So here it goes. How does this thing work? Oh, there you go. Be careful you don't know. Enough. <laughs> Let's hope so. <laughs> so, Rudy, what do you think about the guy so far? Good. Yeah. Um, I think we're really only start to see tomorrow. You know well, everybody's still very overwhelmed and tired. You know what I picked up tonight as well on the tweets? There's a lot of them who can't spell. Yes, yes. I mean, not, not a lot, eh? There's a few of them that can't spell, and that is that is a bit... Uh, that's <laughs> concerning, yeah. Your tweet's uh, wrong, eh? What's wrong? The spelling was the one word. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I had to let you know. No, I didn't know. You just said no. You said you made the soon doon, dude. Okay, sorry. Soon you made doon. I just wanted to help you there. So I got it. <laughs> Please, sort it out. Ah, oh, I see some guys are undressing here. This is maybe not. 
appropriate for the for for oh, live footage. Samson, so that's so okay. Okay, but he's a fitness model, so that's fine. That is fine. That's the other one over there. Just having a chill night just before we eat the streets. Go the sharks. <laughs> <laughs> And did you check the dress, the, what, what I wanted to see on the dress code as well? Yes. Calvin pulled it off perfectly okay. without anyone giving him tips. When I had my, you know, when I spoke to them, I told them, listen, we're going to be checking how you dress. Yes. And some of them went for the hoodies. Yes. And, I, I'm, you know, I don't want to say the word, but it's like, it says fuck you. Yeah. If somebody just wears a hoodie yeah. after you told him, listen, present yourself this weekend. I am going out tonight to... Uh, Socialize with the people we have there, um, send out a good message and a good, uh, uh, um, yeah, let's call it a good message about South Africa, Mr. South Africa brand, and um, just having fun. Yeah. Really? yeah, well, just had a great shower, feeling like a million bucks after that long, long bus ride, so um, ready to get get out there and uh, yeah, have a night out in the town. Genre, you've got a fan That's saying right. full, she must, she's thinking of going to the club to join us. Really? Some, yeah. Madeleine Kruger, I think it is. Madeleine Kruger? Yeah. She she's quite hot and she's single, you're single. I don't know. I'm in a tight spot, I'm going to have to go home and answer all sort of questions then. <laughs> well, you've got to answer it there. How was your Oh, it was like, like it. It was good. A lot of fun. It was awesome. It's called the night. Time to sleep. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching the show and remember, the final event will be on November the 7th at the Lyric Theatre in Gold Reef City. Stay tuned because who knows if the top 12 will make it to the final night. If this was Big Brother, which one of the people here would you vote for and why? <laughs> Look! <laughs> Uh, Captain Amazing and Captain Amazing, we like the same. He's my inspiration. <laughs> He's my inspiration. For world peace. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just gonna go for it. Yeah, you don't come to the chase. Fuck the question. Yeah, Tell me why you are here. <laughs>